Hi and welcome students. In this tutorial I'll be covering PowerPoint 2016 and I'm going to show you how to create and modify tables. Let's get started. So creating a table is pretty easy inside of PowerPoint. All you have to do is this right here is a layout using the title and content layout and you can see my title is up top and this content placeholder allows us to easily insert a table into it. The way that we do that is we go right here to this icon which is insert table and we click on that and then it's going to ask us how many rows and columns we want. I'm going to choose three columns and two rows and I'll click OK. Now it's going to immediately put the table onto that content placeholder area and now this is where I can begin typing. First I'll confirm that I have three columns and two rows and now I'm going to get ready to start typing. So let's say that I wanted to um, fill out this recreational program summary and so I'm going to start by typing athletics and then I'm going to press tab to move over to the next area okay or the next cell in this case I put in leisure and then the last one will be arts now after I typed in arts I want to move down to the next row the easiest way to go down to the next row if you're at the end of the current row is to press tab and it's automatically going to move your cursor down to the next row. Alright, so here I'm going to type in the rest of the data and then um, after I'm done with that you'll notice that at the end of this okay, I don't actually have any more rows below it but the good news is if I actually hit tab right after uh, typing this sentence right here you'll see that it will create a new row and so again you press tab at the end of it automatically adds in a new row and so again this is faster because I'm not taking my hands from my um, keyboard to my mouse and so your overall typing speed will increase if you do the, if you use tab instead of using the mouse alright so I've gotten to this point now and I just realized that I need to insert a column to the left okay I want a column to appear over here on this left side but I don't want it to be offset with the rest of the of the slide if I just insert one over here it'll kinda go off the page so luckily PowerPoint has that in mind and so it's always going to stay within these parameters that they are currently in so all I have to do to insert a cell or a column to the left is to click anywhere in the first column in this case I'll just click right after the word athletics I'll go to the table tools layout tab and you'll see in the rows and columns group there's an option right here for insert left which is going to insert a column just to the left I'll click that now so you can see what it does there we go and now I have a new column to work with alright so right here I'm going to talk about the largest enrollments okay um, and so I type in largest enrollments okay and then if I want to go down to the next uh, row again tab moves us across the down arrow moves us down alright so if you've used a Microsoft publisher table before you'll notice that this basically reacts the same way as that and there's our primary market okay good so we've gotten to this point now and so now we've added in the primary market and so now with the insertion point position in the third row which is this row right here what we're going to do is we're going to insert a row in between these two and so the way that we do that is we go to the table tools layout tab rows and columns group and we click insert above and watch what happens here that's going to insert a brand new row right here and in this row we're going to type in our average enrollment numbers okay so I type this in average enrollment and then I'm going to fill in the um, the parameters for this and so I just go ahead and press tab in between each of these because again tab moves us across the row so that one's going to be 85 62 percent of capacity and you can see the tables coming together right now alright so then we got 78 percent of capacity okay so we've got all of this typed and so now what we're gonna do is resize this table you'll notice that it kind of is in the upper corner or upper half of our table uh, or of our slide rather and so we're going to resize this by going down here and using this sizing handle and I'm gonna take this sizing handle and just kinda drag it down a little bit and again I can use the vertical and horizontal rulers in this case the vertical ruler on the left side you can see that line moving along with it 
it's the kind of place where I want it. And I'm going to put it right here on the page. Okay? And so that way it's kind of taking up a little bit more room. It looks better on our on our uh, slide overall. And so now we're going to distribute rows and align the table text. And so the way that we do this is to first um, click within a cell in the table. Okay? I'm going to just click on the first cell of this table. And we're going to distribute the rows. And so the way that we do that is to go to the Table Tools Layout tab the cell size group and right here is a button for distributing rows and watch what this does notice how this row is really large right now okay and the rest of them are kinda of the same size but this row too is very large because it used to split and so I'm gonna go to distribute rows and you'll see that it did not change the overall height of the table but rather it just distributed the rows evenly within our tables so that's really nice alright so we've distributed the rows and so now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to basically change the way that the text looks on these rows and so what I'm going to do is go to the table tools layout tab the alignment group and watch what happens if I click on any of these okay now the first thing to do when you want to change um, anything in the table is to select it okay so I'm gonna click on the border of the table to select everything inside and then I'm gonna center the text and middle align it okay so one more time on that I clicked on the border of the table which is the placeholder and then I went up to the alignment group clicked center and then I clicked distribute vertically okay so that's how we um, actually align the text within the tables now it's looking pretty good but the last thing I want to do here is change the table style and so that's gonna be in our table tools design tab okay and within our table tools design tab this has things like your table style options your table styles word art styles and borders and so what we're going to do is we're gonna just make sure we're clicked in any cell in the table I'll just click the first one for now and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the table styles group and then if you wanna see more styles than just the ones that are in this gallery all you have to do is go right over here to this more button and if you click the more button it's gonna show you all the different styles that are currently in your themes or your templates and so if I hover over them you're gonna see that I have a bunch of different styles to choose from now in this case I'm gonna choose a light style which is one of these ones here okay and you can see light style 1, accent 1, 2, and 3 I'm actually going to choose light style 3 and I'm going to choose accent 3 which is this one right here light style 3 accent 3 to apply that and I click it alright so it's already looking a little bit different here okay then what we're going to do is still within this table uh, tools design tab we're going to go to the table style options group and that's right over here and this is something that is in the um, MOS exam so this is pretty important to know and we're going to clear the banded rows check now banded rows are the, uh, the it deals with the rows and the shading of the rows check out what happens when I click this banded rows checkbox notice that the rows no longer uh, have that shading applied to them okay so I'm gonna uncheck that right there and so that's how to remove banded rows from um, our tables okay and so uh, the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to apply table effects and font formatting and so we're gonna just move the pointer to the outside of the table so it's uh, kind of positioned outside here and uh, you'll notice that if I move it just to the left of any of these rows that I get a right facing pointer and whenever I have that that allows me to select the entire row at once which is kinda cool so um, in this case I'm gonna select the, this first row right here okay and so any changes that I make to the design of the table now uh, are going to affect this first row and with this first row selected I'm gonna go to the table tools design tab right here and in the table styles group okay which is this one right here this is where we could choose different uh, table effects and in this case again it's only gonna affect the first row because that's the only one that I selected and so I'm gonna click on effects and then I'm gonna choose cell bevel and this will give uh, it the first row a beveled look and I'm gonna choose one of these okay now if you hover over these you can see what they're gonna look like and so I'll choose just circle the first one okay and I select that and it, if I click away I can kinda see what it looks like a little bit better and so you'll see that it has a 3D look to it okay to reselect the column I just click just to the left of it again and so now with this selected I'm gonna change the font size and so I'm gonna go to the home tab font group and I'm gonna increase the size since these are titles I want them to be a little bit larger okay I click right there looks good 
Okay, and then just as I was able to select rows by moving my cursor just off to the left and getting that right facing arrow, I could then use this top area to select entire columns and you'll see a down facing arrow. And so on the down facing arrow one, I'm going to go ahead and do a control B on this first column and select that. That way my um, <clears throat> my first column is now in bold. Okay, And uh, the last thing that I'm going to show you here is the Table Tools Design tab. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is that banded rows are right here, but you also have banded columns as an option. So I could turn that on and then that way banded columns shows shading on every other column. It makes it a little bit easier to read. So hopefully this video has helped you out on learning a little bit more about how to not only insert a table, but go in there and edit those table tool uh, design or layout options as well. So if this video has helped you, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. And and if you have any comments, please put it in the comment section. Have a great day.